as a football player in Italy, it's hard to make money out of it, especially when I started to play, so a few years ago. So I had to, let's say, um, try to do something else, try other uh, ways uh, to survive, let's say. <laughs> but at the same time, I loved uh, football so much that I couldn't uh, give up. Um, so yes, I have many different experiences and uh, I think that they helped me a lot uh, to shape the person I am now and also the um, football player I have been until uh, June um, and also shape uh, the person that I think I can be and the worker I can be in the future. Um, what what are my plans for the future? That's a nice question. Um, I think I would like to be to stay in the sport industry. That's also why I took the master. Um, and I think I have a lot to give actually to the world of sport. Um, I guess that we will see. I recommend it now because in Italy now, uh, luckily, uh, women's football has become professional. Uh, so we have this status, so now we can, we are considered a real, uh, I still say we are, but they are considered uh, real uh, workers. Um, but I still think that to have a second formation, a parallel one, uh, is, uh, is needed. Not not because of money or just just for personal growth or for the people we are. Well, first of all, I chose an online course. Uh, that's that's helpful because you can uh, manage your time as you want and as you feel like it. Um, it's all about um, how do you say that? Uh, managing yourself, your time. Um, feeling yourself and how you actually, I don't know, how you feel and um, if you can do something. And of course, uh, passion, I think, is uh, what drove me at least. That doesn't have to be passion for the sport, but also for the studying in this case. So when you do something that you really like, you really love, you put also extra effort in it. So I guess that's the trick. Well, in Italy, football-wise, I guess this la the last year there was uh, the passage to professional soccer. Um, I I think um, I'm part of it, and I think it's beautiful that I've uh, played in bad conditions, let's say, for so long. But in the end, I was able, in my small um, uh, help, with my small help. Um, to help the future generations to come. So that's, I think it's a nice memory for sure. And in the States, just first of all, being able to be there, uh, have the opportunity to be there and to get to know such a different environment, because in the States we know that uh, professional uh, women's football is much more advanced, especially um, respect Italian one, the Italian one. Uh, so just to be there, my, I remember my very first game, it was, wow, I'm here. Uh, I will try to make it short because it's actually a very long story. Um, so I went there the first summer just by myself. I was the only foreign player in, in an American team, in the local team. Um, and it was a very bad moment for Italian soccer in that period, like maybe the lowest moment. And I was there and I was like, this is a dream for me, meaning this is a dream for Italian soccer players, um, female, of course, soccer players. And I met an Italian entrepreneur who lived there and he was involved with football and soccer. And we had the idea, because in America you can do that, uh, just to create the team. And if you want to play in the better league, you pay more, but you can do that. So we decided to just try and create the team from scratch. Um, and the purpose of this team was to bring Italian players there to have the same experience I had. 
So this is how I was born. Well, it's uh, in, it's an interesting question again because I'm Italian <laughs> and I live in a country where the gender uh, gap is actually high. Uh, it's a big gap. Um, I think that um, let's stick with with Italy. I think that sport it's very it's always directed towards uh, guys toward men the men's side. Um, I think that we have to break down this stereotype uh, that the sport is only for men and we are doing that but I think that the most um, it's hard to explain the more we bring um, the young girls close to sport whatever sport in any way they want uh, the easier it will be to get also uh, them in, interested in it and of course I think that women have uh, they have different characteristics from men especially in, when they're managers so I think they're also needed not only in sports actually in everything uh, but for sure we had we need to start from the roots and we need to get girls closer to the sport uh, every sport I have been talking about this master to everyone around me um, with, I think with such uh, enthusiasm that I actually brought a few people to, <laughs> to join you guys. Um, I, I actually had a wonderful experience, I didn't expect that in the beginning because I had other uh, online courses and I was not happy with them. Uh, so I started with this one, I was like, Ma, let's see how it goes. Uh, and the more I was into it, the, the better it was. I had actually fun studying and I really liked the way it's built, the system, the method actually, the method you are using. And I like, especially I like the forum, uh, the discussion forum where you, are, you, you meet people from all over the world that have completely different experiences. You put them all together and they share uh, their own thoughts. And I think that was the most uh, beautiful part of, the, of this master.